Hi there, my name is Rodika. I'm a Feng Shui consultant with Qi Consulting and I write about Feng Shui for about.com and nofengshui.com. Today I want to share with you a basic uh, and easy Feng Shui checklist for wealth. Five steps to help you um, see if your house attracts, is able to attract more wealth or maybe it does a good job at repelling it actually. Um, in Feng Shui when you say wealth we mean financial wealth, although of course um, the meaning of wealth is way way wider. But for now let's focus on, your, on the ability of your house or apartment to attract the energy of financial wealth and abundance. So tip number one or step number one is to have a strong front door. And what a strong front door means in Feng Shui is a door that has this um, clean, strong, authoritative energy, protective energy. So it's a strong that has the right Feng Shui color, that is not squeaky, that opens wide, a door that has good lighting, that the numbers are clear. So it's a strong door, it has strong energy, um, protective energy, but also energy that is able to attract more goodness or more chi or universal energy into your home. Uh, when I say front door, I also mean the space in front of your front door main door. It has to be open and obstructed and, and promote better flow of energy to your uh, door. And I also mean good Feng Shui in your main entry, because let's say you do a great job with your door and there's beautiful energy happening in front of your door, but if the door opens up and all this goodness comes in, um, and then there's really bad Feng Shui in your main entry, your efforts are wasted. So a good Feng Shui front door includes also the outside and the inside, so what's happening around the front door too. And um, I have lots of tips and lots of help that you can get um, from my writing and how to create better Feng Shui in your main entry and create a stronger front door. And I'll share this with you at the end of the video. Yeah, so this was tip number one, having a strong front door. Tip number two is to have um, a strong and balanced and vibrant and harmonious flow of energy in your home so that the chi or the universal energy that comes into your home through the strong front door and good main entry is able to circulate through all areas and the house has its energetically balanced which means it can support you in all the efforts or all the goals that you want to achieve it has supportive energy for you and even though it may sound esoteric or what's that how to check the flow of chi or the flow of energy in your home it's actually easy and it's also a term that designers use all the time the flow of space so the way you arrange the furniture, the way the room, the relationship between rooms and walls and windows, what is the flow that's created in your space. Um, and the easiest way to check the flow of energy in your space is to imagine chi or energy is water. So if water were to flow into your space through the front door, where does it go? Does it go back right away? Or does it just move a little bit and then get stuck into a corner and goes back? So just imagine water flowing into your space and do your best to arrange your furniture and whatever else you have in your space so that it, it everything connects to everything else and it flows smoothly. So no, area, no part of your home is left out, left without energy. So this was, two na <laughs> this was tips number two. Tip number two, um, have a strong and harmonious flow of energy in your home. Tip number three is a good Feng Shui kitchen. And kitchen is obviously very important and it was considered the symbol of wealth in all cultures everywhere and that makes a lot of sense. So a good Feng Shui kitchen means many things and a lot of effort can go into it. But on a basic level, you want a kitchen that is clean, organized and has the energy of abundance. That means you can display fruits you can, and vegetables, you can have fresh herbs and you have a, this fresh uh, nourishing energy daily. So you actually take care of the energy in your kitchen. You don't need to bring any specific Feng Shui cures because they, they may look ridiculous in your kitchen. Just do your best to express the energy of abundance and have it there daily. So you have to keep up with it. it it's not a one-time thing. It's a, it's a constant upkeep and creation. Uh, tip number four is good Feng Shui in your bedroom. And I know we mostly talk about Feng Shui in the bedroom when we talk about love and health, but um, you need a good Feng Shui bedroom if you want to attract more wealth and then enjoy this wealth too. And there are two reasons for it. Number one, your health. And number two, you want to uh, um, at, um, surround yourself with items that have a sense of luxury to you because we spend so much time in the bedroom, at least eight hours. So things you see before you go to sleep, before you drift off, and things you're surrounded with and see when you wake up, they actually program you on a deeper level. So don't skimp on items for your bedroom. Buy yourself something luxurious, something that you feel so pampered and happy with. Um, and know that on an energetic level, this actually helps you uh, get closer to whatever financial goals you set up for yourself. I know that may sound silly, but it's not. I hope it doesn't sound silly to you. Um, and on the, um, uh, on the, um, in terms of health for your bedroom, just be aware of the high EMF fields. Um, modern bedrooms are so, so... Um, 
plugged, I would say plugged with high EMF fields from computer, from phones, from just electric alarm clocks, and they're so damaging to your health. So just make an effort at least to remove all the electric appliances from your bedroom and sleep better. Okay, this was tip number four, and the last one, tip number five, um, is actually the beginning into a deeper journey, and I have another video on your money area. So tip number five is find your money area and see what's happening with it. I'll help you with that in the next video. Is your money area in the bathroom? Is your money area in the closet? Is it missing at all? So just know that there is a money area and there's a way to find it. And that would be your next step to keep this um, area in the best feng shui state possible. All right, so those were the five steps. Number one, you have a strong feng shui front door. Number two, you have a balanced flow of energy in your home. Number three, you have a good feng shui kitchen. Number four, you have a good, um, good and nourishing and luxurious bedroom. And number five, you find your money area and you take, get, take good care of it. Um, if you want to find all sorts of tips on anything I talked about, please go to nofengshui.com and use the search function and in this way you'll find out uh, it will bring you articles from more sites more of my writings from different sites and it will help you go deeper and explore and apply hopefully apply some of the tips in your own home thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye